hey guys welcome back to care zone my name is grace if you have not subscribed already please do and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my videos in fact you don't even want to miss this series on early disease detection like i said in the introductory video to this series we are going to be focusing on three common killer diseases which are hypertension diabetes and cancer and in this first video we are going to be focusing on how individuals can benefit from early detection of hypertension or high blood pressure you may be wondering why i'm starting with hypertension yes it's because hypertension is the world's number one silent killer and it does not even show significant symptoms until a lot of damage has been done to the heart the blood vessels and other organs of the body another reason is its prevalence is so high for example in nigeria here we are about 200 million in population and out of these 200 million about one third has high blood pressure we're talking about maybe 76.2 million persons or thereabouts these persons are hypertensive and out of this number only about one third are undergoing treatment for high blood pressure that is maybe about 23 million or so persons and the remaining 53 million or thereabouts are hypertensive and many of them do not even know about it they are not aware that they are hypertensive so what i mean is one in three nigerians is hypertensive so if you look around you in your school in your workplace or in your neighborhood it could be that the person sitting right beside you is hypertensive and the bad part is the person may not even know about it that is how serious hypertension is but there is good news and the good news is hypertension can be managed so well if and only if it is discovered at the very early stage it is possible to prevent it from progressing to life-threatening stages which are usually accompanied by stroke organ damage and other complications and finally even death all of these are preventable if detected and managed early and that is the essence of this discussion we are having today i will explain more as we move on so what is early disease detection it simply means a healthy individual going for checkups or screening in order to identify whether they are at risk or already have an underlying health condition which they are not aware of so the person simply goes for checkups in order to find out whether there's something happening in their bodies that they are not aware of or they do not know these tests or screenings are usually recommended based on a person's age weight family history or other underlying health conditions so you might be wondering why should I go searching for something I'm not aware of is it not better not to know that I have something rather than going to look for it well the truth is in other matters that may be correct but when it comes to health matters it is better to know and to find out early enough in fact experience has shown that a lot of persons who were able to beat cancer and beat many of the deadly diseases that exist today is because they were able to detect it early and to commence management of those diseases early and that is the same thing that applies with high blood pressure so let's talk about the benefits of detecting high blood pressure or hypertension early enough first blood pressure is classified into four and they are normal blood pressure, prehypertension, 
stage 1 hypertension and stage 2 hypertension. Four classes of blood pressure. Normal blood pressure, pre-hypertension, stage 1 hypertension and stage 2 hypertension. If you ever checked your blood pressure, you would notice that there are two numbers usually written one over the other. The first one is the one called the systolic blood pressure, while the second one is called the diastolic blood pressure. In a future video, I would discuss in more details about the measurement of blood pressure and every other thing you need to know about blood pressure. But for the purpose of this video, we are limiting ourselves to these four classes of blood pressure and how they can help you in early detection of high blood pressure. Now, having known the four classes of blood pressure, it's also important for you to know that hypertension can progress from one stage to another if no action is taken at every stage. So if a person has pre-hypertension and does nothing about it, he can progress to stage 1 hypertension and also to stage 2 and even progress to more complications or even death if no action is taken. This process of progression can also happen if the person never even knew about it. And that is why some persons can die of high blood pressure or hypertension even though they never knew they were hypertensive earlier. So at the point where it is detected, such persons are already coming in late. And at such late stages, other complications may have occurred such as organ damage, even a damage to the heart may have been done. And all of this could lead to death because survival rate is lower when a disease is detected late. So let's take for example, if after a checkup, a person discovers that he has pre-hypertension, there actually may be no cause for alarm. It's a healthy person. He might be going about his daily activities without feeling any discomfort or any symptoms. And at this stage, all that may be required to bring the blood pressure back to normal range could just be a few diet and lifestyle modifications. There may never even be the need to use drugs and the person may not progress to other stages as long as this stage is properly managed. That is the essence of detecting it this early. The same thing applies to a person who discovers that they have stage 1 hypertension. It can as well be managed within that stage 1 and prevented from progressing to stage 2 with complications such as stroke, organ damage or even death. So the point is, the earlier the better. So how can we achieve early detection of high blood pressure, especially now that we know that it usually shows no symptoms in the early stages. One way we can achieve it is by routinely, regularly monitoring our blood pressure. You can even have a blood pressure monitor at home. So you can monitor it yourself and take down the readings you have obtained. Keep a record. This will help you to track your blood pressure. Another way to achieve this is by avoiding self-medication, especially for prolonged periods. For example, some persons would complain of constant headaches, trouble sleeping, confusion, dizziness, and they keep taking pain relief and um, sleeping pills, ignoring the underlying problem, which may be high blood pressure. So when there are repeated events of headaches, and sleeplessness, it's important to have your blood pressure checked. 
we don't want to end up like a person who continued taking paracetamol or other pain relievers and sleeping pills like um, pyritine and one day the person collapsed was rushed to the hospital and the verdict was that he had to stay on antihypertensives for life the second thing we should do is adopt a healthy lifestyle we want to ensure that our diet our physical activity is aimed at keeping us healthy in order to prevent high blood pressure we also want to limit alcohol caffeine and salt intake and cut out smoking completely this will help to prevent high blood pressure from even coming up at all it is also important to get enough sleep because a well-rested body is a healthy body so what have we talked about today we need to bear in mind that early disease detection and in this case early detection of hypertension can improve survival rates and prevent progression to life-threatening stages it can prevent us from getting complications such as stroke end organ damage or even death so till i see you in my next video continue to put an eye on your blood pressure stay healthy stay safe bye